Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're going to carry on with the quarry tonight. This chapter is called Past Behind Us. So let's jump in and see what's going on. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Oh, we're going to find out about Laura and Max. I thought they were both dead. Oh, she's not in a good way. That Max is still alive. Max. Hey. Come here. Come on. Get in there. Fucking do it. I think they're in jail. That didn't look good. You goddamn kids. That we're definitely in a jail. What's happened? Max. Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Oh, let's just do what we're told just now. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well... <laughs> we didn't expect that. Ah. Uh, why are we going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp. And we're broke. Mm-hmm. Which one? Guess that sheriff's badge doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't believe in the law. Excuse me? We didn't do anything. You locked us up. Explain that to me. Lady, I don't think you have any idea what kind of shit you just stepped into. There is shit, and then there's shit. Stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. 
crazy. What a horrible predicament to be in. What? No, I don't think lashing out is a very good idea. Lash out and just behave. Find out what's hey. going on. Max is still alive. That's good. Hey, you asshole! You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Fuck! Oh, she'd be concerned, definitely. Okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? <laughs> what? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. It's not a scratch yeah, same. on them. I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... I never noticed the name badge. Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! <laughs> did I say you could talk to each other? Just be compliant. Sorry, sir, we'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey, stop struggling. Hey, leave him alone. Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up. Fuck you. I said, shut up! Hey! Hey, you can't treat us like this! You're hurting it! Hey! Hey. Okay. Okay. Think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. Right. Hey, hi, can this be? It's only a wee jail cell. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping.
Ew. Spoon? I'm sure that'll come in handy. There's another one over here. Sis. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. Oh, the spoon. The spoon, the spoon, the spoon. I love it when they get a bit right. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Ah, yes. Oh, would you put your hand through there? No. <laughs> That was a quick interrogation. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. The second you get out. Well, oh, that doesn't sound good. What is that supposed to mean? Hey! What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? It doesn't hey, look like we're gonna get us in here! Hey! Come back! Fuck! Oh. Son of a bean fuck. <laughs> Binky bonky. <laughs> Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. <laughs> Rude. Now we're gonna have to get out here. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... <laughs> I mean... What? I think not. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. 
Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Ah, oh, it's be encouraging. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. He didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna like get her. out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. Oh, don't say that now. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I... I was embarrassed. But... Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This... This really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. That is weird. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead... There's nobody there, and we get attacked by... Something. And then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like... Whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so... You know... Full moon. Yeah. What if... Uh... Okay. <laughs> no. 
Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? <laughs> Werewolves? Seriously? <laughs> that was something Fuck. that happened to Taylor. What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas? Ryan, right? Yeah? You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan, it really would. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which your face to cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. <laughs> There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, then you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. Oh, I can't wait for this. What's happened to Rai? The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I wonder if you can hear them talking on the cameras. Probably. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT. Tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. <laughs> so what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Mm. Okay, so... Let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, Maybe was that was rhetorical. the choice. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. <sighs> You're right. Escape's the only way. Hey, what's he gonna do to us that's any worse if we get caught, right? Let's just... not get caught, deal? 
Yeah. Deal. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him. You tackle him down and take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell, and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right. Okay. That's not really a plan, though. You know? That's just kind of saying let's escape, but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now. We'll catch him in the back foot. No, oh, that's no good work. Careful, really? Careful. Ah, ah, ah. Really? Genius. But what about my shower? Shit. I have to think of something I else. Said, something better. Take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Oh, he's not going to put it in the limp. Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. You're not going to believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. G, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Worth a try. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Hey, you can't just leave me here! Yes, I can. Where the hell are we going to get out here? This is going to be terrifying. What would she do? Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good? Like how? I don't know, just... Bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Fucking close enough for you, bitch! Max? Max? Tell me what's going get on. As far back as you can, Laura.
Pink colors. Actually, looks alright for that. <laughs> so much for depth perception. See what that bastard cop's hiding. Yeah. No, I think we'll just leave Max where he is just now. Follow the blood. Oh, no, that's her blood. That goes in the toilet. Why would I want to follow blood anyway? That telephone. Oh, you dancer. Oh, there's not a. Oh. So much a hint as a slap in the face. Okay, we have got work to do. and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Okay, nothing else in here. Hiding, Travis. All right, what else is down here? We're looking for information about his birthday. 
locked. Figures. But I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. No, I think we'll carry on snooping. Man, a good job we did. Let's go up the stairs. Doesn't seem to be anyone here. Which is a good thing. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Mama's boy. Fifty six. That means he was born in nineteen sixty five. So there's just the one card in here, nothing else. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's the card in the door. Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. That charred shadow spudge has been in the fire. The plot thickens. What else is in here? I'll find something. The rest of his date of birth. 1965 is just not going to do it. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. Oh, in the wee hole. July 7th. Birthday boy. Alright, back to the computer. Oh, I love when they start working things out. Okay, that didn't sound good.
Fuck yeah. You heard this shit, we're going to shut down. Can you handle weren't hikers at it all, but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like um, ghost investigators. Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby boy. Ooh. I have exhausted this and myself. All right, I need let's to sleep. go back to our cell like good little prisoners. Anything here? Right, let's hide this first of all. I will need the thing. No, don't sit in your bed. That's going to come in useful. Right. The plan is coming together here. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But Thank God we hit that syringe. Me too. Happy? I'll brew some coffee. I think he's coming around to. Maybe not. What's this? An education. Watch. Oh, poor Max is going to see himself changing.
Nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean. It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh, what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. His family are the werewolves. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. So, how is your family involved? My family... ...is down at the bottom of a well. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope, how can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. So you pull on that rope and you're just gonna fall right down at the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you, you're the one at the top of the well with a rope and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Let's forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver, and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight, or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. No. We're not taking the gun, that'll just fuck the whole thing up for... And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And... Frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. It has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. 
If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so, I'm, I, I was, when I- Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not, you... they're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. Let's keep on going. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? You get wrapped up in one character, you forget about what's just happened a few minutes ago. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. You can't not believe him. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. No. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What a shame. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. You said let me in there. Chris! I know they're in there. Who? The counselor that didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. I fucking bit one of them, Chris. What's I supposed to do? <laughs> What was that? You bit one of them. Oh god. You shot me. I'm telling mom. Thank your lucky stars wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep them here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? 
I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You were thinking that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. And you those know hikers? It. And that, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we going to do now? Whatever happened to, we're all in this together. Shh, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? <laughs> I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. We need to that's kill Chris. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Definitely. Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Oh, it's getting exciting. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh, Laura? Uh, Laura, are you okay? Uh, God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura! <gasps> oh, lovely. Oh. Fuck. Right, let's get Max out of here. Oh, I need the keys. <laughs> I'm starting to think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> We should go before he wakes yeah. up. That went well. <clears throat> we should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. Silver ammo. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Someone thinks No, I, I still can. It's coming from behind that door. They didn't listen to us. Why would you look? There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month hunting. 
It's like the ghosts well, giving I guess clues. I not Hey, I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> not yet, you're not. No, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. That's gonna be good. And I made my way here, to camp. Left Max at the island, seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. Don't all jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? The island? Like, like oh, our no. island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob... He went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there, and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... She's like Lara Croft. God. So Max will still be a werewolf because it wasn't Chris that she killed, it was the girl, the daughter. I don't think it'd be as scary as if they look like wolves. So the werewolf I, I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. 
Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? Ah, uh, she's been bitten. He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. Good, don't I? Go on, take a bow. Go on. What an evil old Dumb witch. fucking animal. God, let me go! Let me fucking go! Get your hands off me! Oh, Jacob. Uh, That you want? Cause, cause my dad's got money, like lots of it. How you? I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. Please, just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. Oh Jesus Christ! That's too, Bobby. <clears throat> hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Oh, fuck. oh no, can I get out? Oh Jesus, that'd be terrifying. Baby, I need some time alone to be by myself. By myself. Mm, oh, it's gross. It's like a skin Doberman ready to pounce. It's going to end. Nosy little rat, aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? She is the hag of Hackett's quarry, definitely. The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps, in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? Let's see more. Right, so we've got Dylan. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Let's check that out again.
So Caitlin's in the background. And he's opening a car door. We'll have to wait and see. Well, that's it for tonight. Thanks very much for joining me and I'll pop this one up and pop another one up tomorrow after I've finished it. Take care and till tomorrow. Bye-bye.